Hello again, everybody, and uh, welcome back. I haven't made any posts in a while, so I figured uh, what's a better time than now. We are starting a new project here, and it is a fabrication project. We have our 2100 series Vector. It has a big Detroit in it, and it has no trailer hitch. So we pulled the bumper assembly and everything off of here, and we are in the process of designing and building a trailer hitch. Now, something that is different than doing it like on a dump truck is this big pump, this is the big rotter pump, has to be removable once this big panel plate is put on. So our panel plate has to be, or if we ever have a pump failure, we will be cutting it off to get the pump out. So that is today's project, and I'll bring you along once I get a couple cups of coffee and a little bit more stuff done. A couple hours in day two, joint prep's all done. Getting ready to run some welds in. Frame beveled, got the extension beveled. This is all gonna be beveled. This is all cleaned up. That's all cleaned up. That's all beveled out, tacked in. Dress my tacks and start running in some weld. A little bit of preheat to get everybody warmed up and stretched out. That'll help our uh, shrinking and distortion a fair amount. We'll slow cool all this. Don't want the frame sucking all the weld heat out real quick. We want it to be nice and easy. on the cap passes and a little bit of porosity I had to grind out eh, not looking too bad need to hold my toes a little bit longer it's been a while since I ran dual shield flux cooler well we reached a stopping point now that I see myself in the camera Forgot to do my hair today. Also, the old boar, the Vactor, punched me in the face, courtesy of this big hook. Me too. And Cody. Cody got punched in the face too. The Vactor's two for O. Is that right? Two for O? I think so. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I, think, I, don't that's, like I think that's right. So, there's the frame extensions on. Some half inch 836 plate. Tacked on. Flushed up, tacked on, flushed up. We'll be running outside and middle frame rail on this fillet weld, and then we'll be running the inner frame rail back in here. And that'll tie everybody together. And then we will do some panel plate, plate mock up. So, end of day three. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the James and Cody Fabrication Chronicles. We are out at one of our local custom truck shops and this is where we come to get frame drops and look around and see what there is to see in the salvage truck world. Fortunately, I know the shop manager pretty well and he's a cool guy and I will show you our free find of the day. 
So we're getting ready to do the panel hitch build and we were talking about how we were going to do a bumper on there to help protect that big rotter pump. And we came across these two big sections of bumpers that got cut off of an oil, a couple oil field trucks that they brought in and uh, modified and flipped out. So we will be taking those back to the shop and uh, see if we can't do some frankenfab. There's Cody, partner in crime, whatnot, and so forth. So yeah, this is it. See what we can do. Well, we are up to the mock-up stages. It gets kind of disheartening when you spend 20 hours <laughs> on uh, weld and material prep. So let me bring you in to where we're at here. Cody, Cody cut, Cody's drilling up burgers over there. It's lunch. Cody cut the massive lug out of our oil field bumper. that we got from our truck shop buddies by Massive Lug. I am not exaggerating. It's literally about the size of Cody. And uh, I'll throw a picture in here of him holding it to get an idea for size. Here is our panel plate. All flushed up on those plates we just welded in. And we are in the process of laying out everything. Here's our center line. And then we're gonna match the panel height of that truck to the panel height on this truck. That way we don't have to adjust our panel hitch trailers every time we change trucks. What we hit into is this two and a half inch receiver stock for a traditional just bumper pull ball trailer. It has to go underneath this line because that line is the overhang we have here on this mount. So what we're going to do, if you follow me over here, we cut ourselves out a stencil and we laid out where we need to cut this so the hitch will lay back in here nice and flush. We're actually going to cut it a little deep so we can have a step here. And then what we'll do is we'll cut the bottom of this bumper right here. And that'll half of the, the Reese receiver will be in here. Half of it'll be on that truck. And uh, that should work out pretty good for us. So we're gonna eat some burgers. And then cut that out. Slide it up under there and see what kind of fit we end up with. And hopefully everything will just kind of fall in from there. Well, we got our first couple bolts on. Did some mock-ups on the D-rings. Getting ready to fit up the bump or Got it all cut out. Got the cut out for the trailer ball receiver and everything. So we'll fit this guy up in there. She's going. That's a little, that's a little toasty. Well, please excuse my foggy camera, but we're out here. We have a sand injection, high pressure water blaster. It looks right to our valor. And uh, yeah, we're getting this guy sandblasted down, down to some nice, uh, get a nice substrate, substrate, and uh, Give the paint something to stick to. Turn it around. So we got this all stripped. Get that all acid washed in there after we do the high pressure sand. We do a high concentration acid. That takes the rest of the stuff out of there. But there's the weld on the back side. This is all tacked in because I got a have it bolted up prior to doing the final welding. But yeah, that's uh, that's the long and short of it. So I'll finish this up, we'll mount it up, and uh, we'll start baking it together. Stand by.
<laughs> Bam! Oh, the dance. Studio puts it on in a cookout party. Like a kid's swim. Guess what's ready for paint? So we got the panel hitch mounted and greased. It's pretty slick. Got our big mounting bolts in. Got everything wired and taped up. I guess I didn't show you guys this. So we have six wire left turn, six wire right turn, and then the trailer brake and light harness. And this is our wiring set up. We got factory harness coming in, eyeleted on studs, factory harness going out, and then we have the world is our oyster on all that. Got our tail light brackets in. Start cleaning this stuff up, start getting some paint down. Well, there it is. All painted up. Gotta get some wiring. Well, we don't have any wiring to do actually. We just gotta hook the lights up and plug in the trailer receptacle. There it is. Hook up the Captain Conundrum in here. We'll get it all hooked up, do a light check, and then uh, do a shake, do do a shakedown run. <laughs> Hashtag road train. <laughs> well, after finishing this, I feel like things may have gotten a little bit out of hand here. Yeah, it's uh, it's still going. Whew. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's a long one there, boys. Got our lights working right out of the gate, thanks to Cody, the electrician. Trailer brakes are working. Got its first coat of paint on. There it is all hooked up. There's our trailer plug. Got our breakaway brakes. Obviously our breakaway chains. Our wiring's ran. So yeah. No, this is uh <laughs> this is gonna be a new sensation, I feel like. Just like the song. All except it might be a little bit longer than the the new sensation song. So Cody's backing in. We're gonna go get we're gonna go get some fuel and uh, take her down. Well, made it to the diesel shop. Stop. Be around. Actually tracked pretty good. Trailer brakes are working good. So we'll fuel up at the road. There it goes. Well, the maiden voyage is complete. 